UTI symptoms in men are a little confusing, but it's very important for a man to understand these symptoms because in severe cases, a UTI could lead to death. Also, urinary tract infection symptoms in men could look a lot like various sexually transmitted diseases. That's why in today's video, I'll be discussing the risk factors of developing a urinary tract infection, the anatomy of the urinary system, and then discuss the UTI symptoms in men. Big shout out to Let's Get Checked for sponsoring this video. The anatomy of the urinary system is incredibly important to understand because it tells us how a man can get a urinary tract infection and that's important. You have to remember that UTIs are much more common in females than in males and the anatomy gives us a big reason as to why. The urinary system consists of the urethra, which is a small tube that takes that urine from the bladder to the outside of the body. Then we have the bladder, then the two ureters, and then the two kidneys. A urinary tract infection can occur anywhere in the urinary tract, but most commonly in the bladder and in the kidneys. So how does a UTI happen? What happens is bacteria from the outside of the body gets into the urethra and goes up into the bladder and basically proliferates where it causes a bladder infection. Then it could potentially go up the ureters into the kidneys and cause a kidney infection. This is called pyelonephritis. If somebody potentially has a kidney infection, they got to seek treatment as soon as possible because some cases can lead to death. So if somebody's having a fever or back pain and signs of a urinary tract infection, this could mean that they got a kidney infection and they should get seen as soon as possible. Going back, I almost forgot something. One of the main reasons why women get UTIs more than men is because men's urethra is around seven to eight inches long, as opposed to females' urethra is only 1.5 inches. So as you could imagine, that bacteria doesn't have to travel that far in women. On the other hand, men, it has to travel a long distance. So who should be concerned about a UTI and what are the risk factors? Some risk factors of developing a UTI in men are diabetes, urinary catheterization, in which a catheter is placed in the penis through the urethra to the bladder to drain out urine, unprotected anal intercourse, enlarged prostate, also called BPH, benign prostatic hyperplasia, kidney stones, poor hygiene habits, sexual activity that places an individual at risk of STDs. And that's why we see UTIs more in men over 50 because they're more prone to having prostate issues. What happens is that prostate is connected to that urethra just below the bladder. And that prostate can become swollen and impinge on that urethra. So if there's bacteria in the bladder and it can't escape, this can cause a bladder infection. In younger men, we see UTIs more commonly due to sexually transmitted diseases or also bacteria contaminated through anal intercourse. We also can see it with kidney stones basically clogging up the ureters or the urethra, thus leading to the same effect as BPH, where bacteria stays in there, proliferates, and causes an infection. If you're curious about if you have any STDs, especially if you're asymptomatic, check out the company Let's Get Checked. They send you out an STD screening kit, you complete it at home, and then mail it back to their accredited lab. Then you can download their app and get your results very clearly there on whether you got an STD or not. This is just a great tool to get tested in the privacy of your own home. And if you're interested, I left a discounted code in the comments below, so check it out. But keep in mind, if you got symptoms of an STD or UTI, always see your provider first. That's very important. Finally, on to the UTI symptoms. In terms of UTI symptoms in men, there's two main categories. There's a bladder infection, also called acute cystitis, or there's a kidney infection, also called, as we know it, pyelonephritis. Symptoms of a bladder infection in men could be pain or burning with urination, pelvic pain, urinary urgency, like that sensation to pee all the time, urinary frequency. Also, they can have cloudy or foul smelling urine, and sometimes they can have blood in the urine. Symptoms of a kidney infection, pyelonephritis, can look very similar to a bladder infection. You could have all the same symptoms or some of the symptoms, and you could also have back pain, fever, chills, nausea, and even vomiting. 
Remember that a lot of these symptoms can look a lot like a sexually transmitted disease. That's why it's very important to get seen by your provider as soon as possible if you're having any of these symptoms. Otherwise, that wraps up today's video on urinary tract infection symptoms in men. I hope you learned a thing or two. If you did, consider liking and subscribing below. Otherwise, until next time.